Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to an impromptu book sale. <laughs> so what prompted my impromptu book sale is that uh, we are moving some things around in our house. And uh, these were not actually part of my junk journal collection, although they probably would be sooner or later if I kept them. But uh, they're actually uh, books in I, Reader's Digest, a little collection, uh, like a personal collection I had in the other room. And now that room is being, um, it was a guest room. And so I put them in there for, you know, if anybody stayed with us and they were on to read before they went to bed, they have some book, nice books to read, right? Well, that book is going to, that room is going to be someone's room now. So <laughs> I don't have a guest room anymore. But I, um, so I had these books in there, so now I need to do something with them. And I don't want to just add them to my stash because I already have enough books in my stash. So I'm going to go through them. These are Reader's Digest. And um, and uh, quickly, I, I believe they're going to be $5 each in case, but if we run across one in a bad condition, we might, we might lower that. And I did learn from last week, I've never really done this before. I pretty much always sold everything online either on eBay or Etsy and so I'm not used to doing the um, like PayPal thing but this week the, from the last book sale impromptu book sale I uh, learned that all you need if you want one of these books all you need to do uh, PayPal really does work good if we can if we do it right so <laughs> uh, what I learned is you you need to email me like the first one that emails me about one of these books and that's how I did it last time and so like three people emailed me last time at least three maybe four emailed me about all the same three books so the first person got them the first couple of people got them so um you know just be the first when you see this video don't delay <laughs> just go to your if you want one of these go and email me at my email address which is under this video turquoise dreaming sherry at gmail.com and i can see exactly when they came in you know it gives you the date and the time so i know who was first right so anyway you email me your address and your paypal which is your paypal is your email so your address where I would mail your order and your email you know which you have signed up with PayPal and then I send you an invoice and then as soon as you pay it I already have your address and there we go I could stick it in the mail so um, all you that's all you need is two things email me well that's a third thing do three do uh, one thing that includes two things. Email me with your email address and your address. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to number these because it might be hard to uh, keep the um, design in mind or even figure out a name for the design. So I'm going to put a little post-it here on each one with a number. And so you can just tell me the number and I will know which one you want okay so let's get started I want to try to give you a little flip through not you know not every page or anything but uh, there might be a little dusty I just brought them straight from the other room in here I'm like I just have to sell these that's all I don't have anywhere to put them so um, anyway I'm going to try to show you that what condition and the and the date and that in the cover and that is it so this one is the first one I'm going to put as number one green and you see like it has these like stripes here and it's like like a little white almost like a vine and then this little pattern like almost like a doodle in there little marks and then you got the greens you know here it's a full size you know not the one if there, I don't think there's any one no there's no one inch here no one inches and so Reader's Digest everything seems to be intact like new uh, the pages really aren't even well they might be browning very slightly but not really and so the date 1966 so that's number one and that's how I'm going to do all of these okay and five dollars each so number let me just put let me just put a big one on here number one okay and this these post-its are pretty sticky so I have tape here just in case but they feel pretty sticky so I'm going to put that as number one number two okay so this one's got a little bit of a rough corner here I don't know what happened to it but it does have a rough corner <laughs> like I don't know it's worn and then <clears throat> it's a pretty cover 
uh, peachy and cream or beige spine there. There's the cover on the back. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. A little wear right here. And then oh, I saw something in here. All the pages look good. Starting to brown a little bit. And let's see. Whatever happened to this corner, it's happened on the whole inside and outside of the corner. <laughs> Looks like somebody chewed on it, but I, I have no idea what happened to it. So, And so um, the pages all look good. There's a little bit of wear, I would say, right here on the pages from whatever happened here. Kind of, it. There's no paper missing, but it's a little, like, I'm just going to say, very, very slightly worn there. So you can see the spine is intact. When I get these Reader's Digest... I am very careful with them, even if they look like they're brand new, because if they're old, if you bend the covers too much, sometimes they'll, my experience is they'll crack. So I'm very careful with them, and I don't even really move the, move the covers around too much. So that's what I'm doing right now, 1964 on this one with the pretty... <coughs> oh... Sorry, I should pause, but it's. I told you they're a little dusty because they just been sitting in my my other room there. No one's no one's read them, so I figure might as well let somebody use them. That's gonna okay. Number two, number two. Okay. Ooh, we have to just one second. I need to get a tissue. So sorry. That was. I said they were dusty, and then they started making me. Uh, but really, it's just the top, top couple that were dusty. I think the rest of them were not so that dusty. But we'll see if, if they make me sneeze again. Anyway, this one has like a, a grain to it. Like, I don't know. It looks like wallpaper almost. You can see that kind of a goldish tan. Uh, there's the burgundy spine. There's the back. Looks new on the outside. I don't even really see any wear to speak of. This would be a good, um, all of these would be great for journals, but one of, something more plain like this would be great for making a nice little centerpiece there. So you wouldn't have to worry about like, like this one. You might want to leave this alone, but this one is great for a, you know, a centerpiece. So here's a little, that's a pretty page, isn't it? That's not a sticker, that's on the paper. And this one is, the spine's all intact. It's stiff. 1965. This is cute. Uh, if there's any more information you want about the books, let me know in your email. But uh, right now I'm just going to go through like this. That's number three. Number four. <coughs> so this is another kind of like floral or botanical. Very pretty. No wear to speak of. Oh, there is a little bit of wear here. Okay, there's a crack in the spine. I'm not going to pull on it, but the spine, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, where I'm putting my thumb, right there, is it's cracked. So, But I'm not going to pull on it or anything. I don't know if it'll come off or what, but uh, stiff. It's stiff. Oh, very stiff. <laughs> so I'm not going to pull back on that uh, cover. 1964. It's got a pretty little page there. Look at that with the florals. Okay, so that one is number four. Okay, uh, and here's another one that would be great for a centerpiece. Kind of a pinstripe there on a gray kind of uh, muddled background, if you can see that. Marbled almost. Burgundy spine. Okay, and then oh, this is very stiff also, but I do I see any cracks? I don't see any cracks on this one. Okay, this one's got a pretty little ex libris there in the inside cover, and the year is so stiff. I'm not going to pull back on it. Oh, see, I'm afraid it's going to crack. <laughs> I'm just going to peek in here at the if I can find the. Uh, 1965 and this was number five number five okay 1965 number five 
Okay, here's the really pretty one. And it's got these florals. It's got a little deer right there. And right here peeking out. This one, the cover is loose. I mean, it's not the cover, but the spine is cracked here. And it's, if I pulled on it, I could probably pull it off, but I'm not going to pull on it. Okay. There's a little deer there. And then pretty inside covers. This one is 1963. And that's number six. 1963, number six. All right. And then this one, it's got some wear here. I'm looking at right here on the spine. I'm not sure what happened there. It is worn. But, and there's a crack here. But I'm not reducing these beautiful covers because you can make a beautiful journal out of these and these are few and far between. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this one in a store. I think I might have seen this one before. If I, I might not, I, I might not. I think I saw someone on YouTube use this one with the little deer, but I don't, maybe, maybe I haven't seen it in person and this one either. So uh, because of that, I'm not going to reduce these even though they're a little, you know, showing signs of wear, more wear than the others. I mean, the deer, what did I say about that one? That was cracked. This was cracked here. And this one's got a crack all the way down here. And this wear. And then the back spine is, look like it's cracked up here, and but not all the way down. So, but it's a beautiful cover, isn't it? And if you're going to make it into a journal and make a new spine anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is this part and this part. And it looks all beautiful. Something shiny right there. I don't know what that is. Um, these just came from a person that uh, had collected them. So there's a little wear right here. I I wouldn't if I was making a journal out of that, that this I wouldn't care about any of this. I would just take the covers off and make a new spine. Okay, and then you've got the inside. Let's see what year this is. Oops. That's upside down. <laughs> so beautiful on the back and the front. You can't tell which is the front or the back if you don't hold it the right way. 1962. So last couple have been the oldest ones so far. 1962. And this is number seven. Seven. Okay. Next one. Now, I think I've had this one before. I think I've found this one at... Uh, or something really close to it, but I think it's, I think I might have had this exact one that I picked up at the thrift store. But as I said, this, these, these that I have right here, I didn't get at the thrift store. They were someone's personal collection that gave them to me. So, but I just can't keep them anymore. There's a little notch right there, like a little, I don't know, little notch. <laughs> and beautiful back cover. Pages. It's, it's pretty stiff, so I'm not going to pull on it, uh, but the pages look good. Uh, the pages are a little, like, uh, see this? Like they're wrinkled right there, like they had been bunched up or something, and then someone unwrinkled them, or unbunched them, or something. I don't know, but they're the whole page is there. They're not torn, or, you know, they're not torn, they're not written on, so they still can be used, especially... Depending on what you want to use them for. But yeah, there's a wrinkle here too. Huh, isn't that weird? I don't know what happened to that one. But 1962. So still one of the older ones. And a beautiful, beautiful cover. And this is number eight. Okay. And this is a different one too. I don't know if I've ever had this cover before in blue. I think I had something with stars like that but not the blue background. Gives me a mid-century modern vibe with a cream or beige colored spine here. As you can see, the spine is kind of chopped up there. A little bit of whatever happened to it, I don't know. 
there's some wear on the side, like just almost like it was it's naturally distressed right here on this side of this. See the white there on the side of this. But if you were making this into a journal, if you didn't like the white, you could use your distress ink and just put it right over that and it would look beautiful. Same here, there's a little bit of white here. I don't know if it came like that or what, but I don't think I doubt it. So if it were me, I would just use my distress ink and and ink right around this whole cover here, and that would look on a vintage cover like that would look beautiful. Or you could use gold, some gold ink or paint or something, you know, how we do. And because this is this is a this is actually it looks gold right here. These little lines, if you can see the little lines like a little maze around these stars or starbursts, it's uh they, it looks gold and it almost has a little sheen or glittery look to it. Um, it's not glittery, but it almost has that effect maybe when it was brand new it looked with it looked oh this is really stiff <laughs> maybe when it was brand new it was really uh, more glittery or something so let's see what year i don't want to pull on this and crack anything oh it's got a beautiful floral there can you see that in there gorgeous and oh these contents page is pretty too this is 1963 so uh number nine Number nine. Uh, one thing I d did during the last one was uh, I, as they sold, or the three that sold, I uh, put in a comment and pinned it to the top of the comments which books were sold so you could see which ones were sold in case you came. And if you looked in the comments, you would have seen that you know, which ones were sold. But some, um, yeah, I had to kind of make sure they were sold, paid for before I could put that they were sold. You know what I mean? So it takes a minute to, uh, that's why I need, if you're, if you're buying one and, and it is better if you just pay right away, as soon as I send you the invoice and as soon as you receive it, just pay right away so that if there's more people wanting that same book, I can say, oh, that sale is finalized. You know what I mean? So anyway, another pretty floral here. This is, now this one I have never seen before either. It's got a pretty kind of, well, you can see it there. This is a really pretty botanical, I guess I should say. It's got, the background is kind of a very light green, um, like a wash almost. And then this is a grayish beige over here maybe, more, more toward the gray. Uh, there's a little chunk there. <laughs> I don't know what happens, you know, but that's pretty back, pretty back too. That little chunk, uh, that's in the spine, so you would uh, probably be making a new spine. Now, I don't want to crack anything. Is anything cracked so far? There is a crack right there. Yeah, this is this spine is cracked already, and so yeah, I'm not gonna. It's I couldn't pull it off. It's still attached somewhat, but there is a there is a crack right there. So let's peek in here and look at the year on this one. <clears throat> so this is uh, 1964, 1964. So, and this is uh, number 10, 10. Okay. So that is it for this book uh, video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you want one, let me know. I, I would love to uh, not send these to the thrift store, <laughs> you know, because I, like I said, I don't have anywhere to put them. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great week.